Welcome back to Margaret Spiel. Welcome back to Margaret Spiel. Yada yada blah blah blah. Yada yada blah blah blah. Whatever. You've heard this song a million times before. Greetings and salutations. This is Margaret Franklin of Margaret Franklin Creations coming to you almost live on video from my room. And oh, I think I almost need sunglasses in here. The sun's quite bright, but at least it's overcast. Anyway, today is Thursday, December 9th. It's Donny Osmond's birthday. Hence the tiny pair of purple socks in this, in my, my thing that I did today. Dave thought it was a butterfly. You might not know there were purple socks unless I told you. I tried to make them look knitted by using a tiny chain stitch. I know some of my fellow embroiderers have been doing like little toques and sweaters and stuff like that on their projects. Mine has really grown. There's, what, 18 days left in this year? Let's see. What have we got? Today is the 9th. Tomorrow is the 10th. It's our party. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 19, 20, 21, 20, 22? Whatever. Huh? Where'd I learn to count anyway? Frosty the Snowman? Hmm. Seriously, folks. I'm looking forward to our party at CMHA tomorrow, and there's going to be some graduation thing coming up. I think it's next Tuesday. It's either the 14th or the 21th, 21st, because part of the advertisement got cut off, but I said that I'd like to go to their 2.30 session that they have for the it was some graduation event that CMHA is having. I'm really glad of CMHA. They've been a really good resource in my life, and it's, I've loved having my support group to go to. Jeanette and I both go to it, and we usually go out for lunch afterwards. If I hadn't been laid off, I might have missed our last meeting of the season. And the Christmas party is tomorrow. There are several time brackets for that you got to get tickets for in order to in order to enforce social distancing and all that. We were originally signed up for 10 o'clock, the first group, but when I got my job, we rescheduled it to 3. And I must not forget my ticket when I go there. We go, go there tomorrow. Still waiting for news to find out when my job starts again. They've assured me I still have it, I just don't know when. As long as I... As long as I have enough money to pay the rent when the time comes around. I was able to put aside $700 for January, so we will still live here in the new year, at least for that month. But I was shocked to have only $46 left in my account. I gotta stop it with the impulse shopping and, well, seriously, a couple times a week I have actually gone and bought myself groceries, because I'd, I'd like to have healthy snacks at work. I get my, my kippered snacks and my sardines for sandwiches, and I I get my clementines. I'm officially tired of mangoes. I couldn't finish my last one yesterday. But time will tell. See what's going on with my job. I don't want to lose it. I don't really want to start over with a new job. I'm happy with this job. It is in my comfort zone. Everyone's always saying step outside of your comfort zone. Well, getting, yeah, get going and getting a new job has been kind of outside of my comfort zone, but God's anointing of ease has been upon me. He's been very good to me this year. We are so blessed and fortunate to have this wonderful apartment, and I pray that God will continue to provide for us to do so. We got two Christmas cards in the mail today. One was from Lori and Vince. The other was an anonymous card with a $100 grocery gift card. We can use it at Fresh Co., which is just just down the road from us. And what else is new? Hmm. Two o'clock this afternoon, Jeanette and I will do our FaceTime. That's been a lot of fun lately. It's the next best thing to hanging out in person. It's better than talking on the phone. What we like to do is we waddle and the bugs uh, uh, act silly and I'll put on some funny music from YouTube, and we have our little dance parties, and that helps us to survive and keep our sanity, or lack thereof, whatever. <laughs> yep, I know she's been going through a really difficult time. She's had a series of unpleasant surprises. The other day, she cut herself when she was doing the dishes, cut her finger on a tin, uh, 
she cut one finger and then the other. But the the one that hurt wasn't as bleeding as the one bad as the one she doesn't feel, but or didn't feel at the time. And she's bandaged that finger. And it seems like ever notice when you have a have a sore finger or toe, you're always bumping it against something. It just seems to hurt even more. And then yesterday, I had to give her some money because. Her Presto card ran out, and even though she registered it online, it doesn't kick in until the next day. So she was feeling really depressed, and she, I let her come over to my place for a little while to decompress. And later on today, we will be doing our FaceTime. I, I love having a webcam. Why didn't I think of it sooner? That, that was a stretch outside my comfort zone. I, I was scared that it was going to be complicated, because I could have... If I'd known how easy webcams were to use, I would have I would have gotten one ages ago. But it just wasn't the time. Our our kitchen back at at three eighty four Elm Grove was a disaster area, and I'm I'm proud of my little place here. I I like the view from my computer, I, for, from my webcam. You see my happy little wooden shoes hanging on the wall near the stove, and my artwork under the dining room window. We, we've got a nice little view in our webcam now. I, I was kind of ashamed of our old place. We didn't really want to let anyone see it, but I, I love to show off Beacon Arms here. I, I love my room, all my kiss posters and my masks, my artwork, carousel pictures, all my little tchotchkes on the on the windowsill, on my little critters and thingies, my pictures on the wall, my donkey from Loot Voss, and all my little carousel things from the that was a, from the dollar store. Supposed to be for a kid's room, but hey, I'm a kid at heart. The December calendar, unicorns, my student recognition award, my filmmaking award. Oh. So many memories, but even more memories when we, when we opened up the boxes for the stuff that all our Christmas ornaments was in. There were old report cards, school photos. One of these days, I gotta make. A, I'm I'm gonna add the Conklin logo with the Santa hat to this embroidery thing, because that's what was on the on the card containing my Santa photo from the Christmas carnival. Anyone remember the Christmas carnival? Doo Doo the Clown would appear at something like this if they had it nowadays. But now he's at uh, Heritage Railway, whatever it is, in Oxbridge. They do a thing there every weekend. Got to buy tickets online for it. At the, uh, Christmas Carnival was something like Wizard World. Only Wizard World nowadays, like it was during March breaks. But I think it was in the automotive building at the CNE. They had the indoor amusement rides. There was a carousel and... All kinds of rides. There was a, a slide and a bouncy castle. It was kind of a big deal for little kids. And any chance to ride a carousel makes me a happy camper. Kind of sucks that there's no carousel at this year's distillery district. Oh well, one less thing to have to turn out and spend money on. Anyway, I guess that's all the news for now. Bye bye. Be back soon. Thanks for watching Weekly Spiel! Mm -hmm.